Hey hello YouTube, this is Nexus. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use Scent of a Guest. So, as of recently, like I've said in my previous videos, I have recently started to do a hosting company. We offer VPS servers, also Scent of a Cast. But today I'll be showing you guys how to use Scent of a Cast, as it has been a very frequent question. Um, Alright, so let's get started. So here on my, on my website, um, I have the Scent of a Cast servers that we have. These are just our first three packages. And then we have our last three on this page. Um, <clears throat> so I have a test account that I'll be showing you guys how it works. So let's say we wanted to get um, the $2.50 uh, package. So we're going to click on order. And what it's going to do is it's going to redirect you to our billing site. Once you're here, you can select um, your basically the stream quality. That's what this is right here. Um, and you can select it to whatever you would want. Um, the more you have, the better the quality. However, 128 is a pretty is a pretty decent stream quality. If you want better quality, then you're always able to purchase more. So, all right. So after you select the package you want, you can go ahead and click checkout. Uh, all this would look correct. And then once you're done, you click complete order. So what it's going to do is it's automatically going to set up your account once. How, the, how this package works is once the payment is confirmed, you're automatically going to be set up. You don't have to wait on me. If anyone else has set it up, it's done for you, which you can see I have a set balance right here that it's going to take from. So you guys can actually put balance into your account if you want that you can use towards anything on our site. Um, while this is loading, I'm going to give you guys a quick preview of our new site that we'll be having. Um, so recently I've been working on a template that I found for our, a new site that um, I think would be much more user friendly as you guys can see I've already made it to fit what we wanted to have let's go back over here let me go to my email because I am already getting emails that there's a payment okay so go to our client area let's click on my services and here we are so you're, then after this you're gonna click on this green arrow right here then you're gonna go down you can reset your password here um, done automatically through the server. So, but if you want, then you can go ahead and click log into CentOpenCast. Once you're here, this is basically your stream. This is where you can upload music and everything of that sort. Um, I think I have a music file somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. I, okay, yes, I do. All right, so I'm gonna drag this back over here. So that's what I have. Okay, so you first off, you click on files. And then you click on upload. Uh, you click on select files, and here's all the music that we have. Let's say I want to upload. Um, let's do Kanye West strong, stronger. Yeah, excuse me. So what's gonna do is it's gonna upload to the server and all that stuff. Uh, once it says complete right here, then you can go ahead and press uh, close. Oh, excuse me, close. And this is how much space you have available with your current package so then you can go ahead and click close and you'll see it here um you know every single song that you upload will be listed here so if something doesn't go through then you're not going to see it here so click on return and then after that we're going to go to media don't start the server because it's not going to work click on media and then the standard rotation select this and then you can see there's nothing in here because we don't have any music so go back to media library click on Kanye West and let's say you have multiple songs from the same artist that you don't necessarily want all of them in this in the music stream yet you can go ahead and click here and then this song name is going to pop up right here so after you do this you can drag you can go ahead and drag it into standard rotation but let's say you want the whole artist well then you can easily click on here and just it would bring every song that you have from this artist into the standard rotation so since this is a 4 minute 26 second song, you can see here, this is how long this rotation will last before it will restart or go to another rotation that we have here. Click on return, and then now you can see we're back at our dashboard. Um, here you can manage the different playlists that you have. Here's the standard rotation that we just uh, put the music into. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable all of these except the standard rotation because that's the only one that we're going to be using so now you can see this is the only one that gives the option to disable the rest are 
giving you the option to enable. Um, but let's say you wanted to change some stuff around. Here you have the stream title, your account stream, email address, auto DJ enabled, everything like this. This is where you can configure all this stuff. So let's go and go ahead and start the stream. The stream has started successfully. All right, so let's go to quick links. And then here you see radio.nexusnet um, and all this stuff here. So what then you can do is just go ahead and click right here. And when you click on here, the song is going to play. So it's simple as that. Um, there's not really much difficult, much difficulty doing it. It's very simple, very easy, and very fun. You can rename this right here where it says account stream. Like I said, if you go back here and go to settings, you can change this to test stream. And then click on update. And then reload. And okay, so let's just go short tab here. Maybe okay. Sometimes it does take a little bit to upload, so don't worry, don't worry too much about that. It will update eventually. Um, I know that my n Nexus Net one did take quite a while to do as well. <coughs> so this is it um, for our t for my tutorial today on how to uh, upload music to your Sent Overcast uh, server or account. Um, any other questions feel free to use our live support available on our website or just go ahead and make a support ticket um so yeah uh, comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys